there. Um, another useful thing is a string. String. It's a, also a fundamental data type. You see, it doesn't bold. That that's okay. That's okay. So string my string equals. Now you can put a string here. Hello world. And it stores a string. So now we have all of these data types. What do we do with them? Well, I'll tell you. What we actually do is uh, well, we have fun. So first we can send them all into C out. So you could c say C out x and then put an L and L. And L stands for end line. And it's another uh, one of those STD functions. STD is this, the template. Uh, directory that we're using so namespace uh, I mean the namespace right so this would just skip a line alternatively you could put if that doesn't work you could put um, backspace n or no what's that called the uh, back forward slash backslash backslash I guess n and uh, that's a return character uh, an escape character sorry so I'm, I'll put n del because it's what I like to do I don't know it just more graphically appealing to me to see end L which actually stands for end line rather than backslash that thing with the end so uh, we can send them all a uh, float y and L uh, see out Z and L so when you see out variables you don't put quotes around it because uh, it's a variable and if you come from PHP you don't uh, you don't put the, this dollar sign in front of your variables. You remember in PHP you have var1, var2, whatever. Uh, you don't put that dollar sign. Mm, so, And in C sharp you also put it, well, it's a scope resolution operator actually in C sharp. So, no, <laughs> you don't do that here. So, C car and L and C out my string. And L, and for C character, I'm also going to do something a little bit different, which I showed you before. I'm going to say, oh, put a blank space in here. So I'm going to put a space, and now I'm going to put a C car int. So I'm going to display the integer value of C character, and now I finish up my programs uh, with uh, C in get and return zero. What C in get mean is it uses the C input stream and uh, get refers to it gets an enter so uh, it waits for you to press enter basically and um, the problem with this using this is if you press enter on on the C in if you use the C in stream uh, Otherwise, and you have the user has to press enter, then it gets confused and it quits the program automatically. But in this case, we can use scene get without much trouble. And if you have trouble, once again, go to reconnetworks.com where everyone will help you. Uh, that's that's what their signatures say. But okay, so um, oops, okay, my bad. Uh, seeker int let's try it this way okay yeah you have to put the int in front oh sorry in front of the oh, let's see let's see if I can minimize this program put it about the, at the bottom okay that's good so you, you have to put the int in front of it because otherwise it confuses it with a function declaration so I put the int in front of it and now I have all of these values and all of them are printed back to me 5, 10.5, 52.36, A, 97 so remember the ASCII table that I told you uh, well here it is the value of A in the that table is 97 um, also my string displays uh, the string so that's awesome uh, you could also redefine a variable so I could say but when you when you're defining a variable instead of saying int x equals 5 I can just say int x and that's actually a declaration because what the what the program does in this case is it gives me four bytes of memory uh, in which I can put some data so it's actually not only a definition it's also dec well 
it's a declaration, yes, because it gives me the, the memory. So now I can say x equals 5, and this is the, well, you could call this the implementation or this whatever. So this won't change anything, and here you don't refer to x, int, uh, to x as int x because you define the, define the type up here already. Sorry, I have to take a breather. Got tired of speaking so much. Okay, let's continue. I should probably bring some water. Yeah, I'm having stomach cramps from speaking that much. Sorry for my squeaky chair, that's okay. Um, x equals 5, so let's put x equals 150 and let's run this again. And so the same thing, 150 shows up in here in where x is supposed to be. And uh, so you can define them up here and then uh, re, re, well, not redefine it, but actually define it. You could say int x equals 0 up here and then x equals 150 here and guess what's going to be printed out? 150, correct, because the latest definition owns. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, well, uh, I'll keep that int x equals 5. So, or not, let's look at the C input stream a little bit. So, uh, I, ha I declared an integer x, right? And now I want, say, I want the user to. Uh, to get some user input to ask, uh, well, what do you want to be as x? So first, I use a C out statement with the overload operator once again uh, to print out to them something. You have to give them a direction, otherwise they won't know what to do. So please uh, enter a whole number. Uh, yeah, let, let's keep it at that. So please enter a whole number, and now we use the C in operator. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. C out, out, put. C in stands for right, input. Okay. So, now, the tricky part about C in, well, if you can call it tricky, is you actually put point the operators the other way. So, they're pointing towards the data type that you want entered. So C in is also in the namespace STD. So if we didn't if we didn't have this line, we'd have to either put sep uh, a separate command called using STD uh, C in. You could do that, or you could just uh, refer to this as STD C in. STD C in. But I have that using namespace STD up there, so I can just refer to it as C in. So C in X. What this is going to do is uh, it's going to print out please enter a whole number and now it's going to and then it's going to ask uh, yeah give us x give us the value of x so now the value that the user enters is going to be stored in x now if that's going to be a character then you're probably going to throw an error and I'll go into errors a, a bit later but for now just don't enter a character otherwise you might crash your program uh, actually we can test that out. Uh, 